Let's look at an, another one. All right, everybody got that. Let's look at another one. Now, cables and ropes and trusses and pinned and pinned two force members. That's easy. To, the force inside of them, that is the normal force. So don't over, you don't really have to cut ropes and cables and two force members. Just whatever the force inside of them is the force. And so this, uh, remember you cannot forget statics. So you might have to do some statics. You might have to do some statics. So how about this? 80 kilogram lamp supported by two rods. Uh, if AB has a diameter of 10, BC has a diameter of 8, determine the average normal stress in each rod. So you still have to do statics and say, okay, I've got 80 times 9.81. I've got the force in BC. And I've got the force in AB. So kind of looking at this whole free body diagram, uh, some of the forces in the X. FBC, uh, the four fifths component. FAB, the cosine 60. Set those equal to zero. Sum the forces in Y, negative 80, 9.81. FBC, the three fifths component. And FAB sine 60 equals zero. Y'all remember that from statics? Two equations, two unknowns. We're going to have to do statics stuff just to get this FAB 632.4, FBC 395.2. Wait, CB, yeah, or BC. Right, so you have to do, you have, sometimes you have to do some statics. All right, and now let's not overcomplicate it. This, these are the normal forces inside, you know, cable AB and cable BC. So I don't really have to cut this. I mean, if you cut it, you, you get those same forces. The stress inside section AB, 632.4, or 632.4 divided by area, right? Stress is force over area. So the area of bar AB pi by 4, 10 millimeters squared. And, and I didn't kind of mention this, but I've got newtons on top. I've got millimeters squared on bottom. That is MPA. That's kind of why I like MPA because a lot of times we have newtons, a lot of times we have millimeters squared. So this would be 8.05 MPA is a stress in subsection AB, stress in subsection BC, 395.2 over pi by 4, 8 squared, 7.86 MPA, stress in subsection BC. All right, so you might have to do statics before you get here. You might have to, you might have to cut it. To solve for n, it's not obvious what the n is. But normal stress is, I think, straightforward. It's just a normal force divided by the cross-sectional area. 